What do I love most about Luna is that she has empathy and she loves animals. Luna, wherever she goes, she just brings magic. She's seven and first grade is so full of dancing and singing. She has a beautiful voice and she likes to make up songs when we're in the car and she seems to just have a magic around her where whatever she puts her mind to she just really brings it into her reality and that's one of the things I love about being a parent is helping facilitate that and I feel like now that we've settled all these you know just challenges that we've been able to really help Luna to be the best she can be. So before mediation began, I was consulting with my attorney and it was actually he who recommended I come to the DRC. There was a high level of conflict and we tried resolving it on our own. Um, we seemed that we were just coming from very different places and we tried through, we tried everything, writing letters, writing emails, trying to have meetings, walks. We tried everything that we could to really come to a solution with our challenges and we were at a loss. They're anticipating that there could be some difficulty in building that communication. They've called us because they're really hit, they're, they're stuck somewhere. My role is to really listen to where they're at, really hear what's going on for them, help them understand that there may be a way forward and for, them, for me to explain what the process is to take them forward. When we first came to the DRC um, on the day of mediation, it was, I was nervous. I was really nervous and I was really upset. Um, the emotional charge was still really high. Um, I didn't feel ready. People come because they haven't been able to have a constructive conversation to figure out what co-parenting is going to look like. Um, they come worried, they come concerned, they come committed to their child, and they're a little worried about how that's all going to turn out. I feel like the focus of mediation was very centered on coming to a solution that was good for Luna. The children's needs, the children's well-being, their safety, their future is the priority. It is a priority for each of the parents. It is also the priority for the center. We come in as neutral facilitators of conversation, but where we aren't neutral is when it comes to the well-being of the children. Uh, for one, I think it best serves the child. We talk lightly about best interests of the children. And mediation really is focused on that. Sometimes if parents are particularly struggling with being focused on the child versus their history, I'll put cards out with the kids' names on the table so that we stay focused on really what's most important. And so I think that is the impact, is that the children are best served through mediation their parents learning how to talk to each other again. Mediation for me was an opportunity to communicate with my daughter's mother um, with a neutral third party professional present and I felt like that kind of leveled the playing field in our communication. The turning point for me in mediation was when my daughter's mother and I reached a point where we both agreed that we were able to have equal time with our child. Um, before that it felt unequal for her and um, so we struggled with that and we didn't want to have to fight over who's going to see our child more or less and through the courts. It was nice to be able to talk it out and also have somebody keep the conversation objective. Working with um, Deborah, one of the mediators at the DRC, she has such a presence, a very kind and loving presence that is, you can just feel that she wants you to be heard and for each other to hear it, be heard. It, it just felt calm and peaceful. I was able to let my guard down and that was very helpful because um, instead of being emotional, she would allow a few moments of that to kind of unfold and then um, we were able to move on because we felt validated and heard. It was so thorough. So the process of divorcing or creating parenting plans 
if people go through the court system and perhaps get some legal support on board can be extremely expensive. The Whatcom Dispute Resolution Center offers an opportunity for people to get a professional service at an affordable cost. So we, we serve all members of, of our community. I just wanted to say I really appreciate that the Dispute Resolution Center makes it accessible regardless of income through their sliding fee scale. I really think that um, that's not just charitable, but I think necessary for a lot of people. I think what's most impressive of the Whatcom Dispute Resolution Center, I mean, in terms of what's special, is the range of programs that they offer, that it really is a full community approach. Our role as family mediators, like Deborah, is to empower people to be able to build their communication. And then some folks like Jessica and Adrian, for example, they've done an extraordinary job of working together, of individually feeling empowered and coming to respect each other's role as parents and their desire to really make things better for their daughter, Luna. It's like you're starting over, and from that point, the rest of it just falls away, and then you can kind of relocate from where you're at and restart, and that, I feel like, is really important because, especially with children, the journey continues. 